All of the body's organs need to receive blood at an adequate pressure in order to be effectively perfused. When looking at perfusion pressure, we tend to refer to the mean arterial pressure of the blood, or the MAP. The MAP is a number that normally comes in brackets at the end of the blood pressure on your monitor and represents the average blood pressure throughout the cardiac cycle. In this case, we can see that the patient has a blood pressure of 110 over 55, giving them a MAP of 73. At the bottom of the screen, we see a heart representing the cardiovascular system and the blood pressure it can produce. At the top, we see the brain, the organ we are trying to perfuse. The pressure of the blood reaching the brain is known as a cerebral perfusion pressure, or CPP, shown on the scale to the right. A CPP of 60 is generally considered acceptable. As we can see, the patient's current map of 73 would seem easily adequate to perfuse the brain. However, this is not the whole story. As we saw in the previous animation, the brain itself is always under a certain amount of pressure, known as intracranial pressure, or ICP. This pressure is opposing the map and pushing the blood back out of the brain. The cardiovascular system must overcome the ICP to ensure adequate blood flow. We can therefore say that cerebral perfusion pressure is MAP minus ICP. This patient has an ICP of 8, so we can calculate their CPP as 73 minus 8, equaling 65. Easily adequate to effectively perfuse the brain. For a patient with a normal blood pressure, a normal ICP, maintaining CPP is generally not a problem. However, if the patient suffers a head trauma and their ICP increases, ICP has now increased to 18. The patient's current blood pressure is no longer great enough to overcome their ICP and hit the CPP target of 60. The brain will be underperfused and start to suffer from ischemia unless we do something. We have two options, either reduce the ICP or increase the MAP. In this case, we opt to give medications to improve their blood pressure. Their new MAP of 90 is now adequate to overcome the raised ICP and push the CPP above 60 again.